Hey everybody, I'm Peter Huapi from The Day, and I'm filling in for Rick Coster today, who is out. Um, but you guys, I assume, did not come down to the Telegraph to listen to Rick talk or to me talk. Uh, you came down to listen to No Mind. Uh, we're very excited to have them here. Those of you guys watching at home or at work on your computer cannot see, but we have a great crowd in the Telegraph. Very excited about that. And I'm going to turn it over to the guys from No Mind.
It's mighty dark outside We've got all the light we need You little light of mine Go shine out over all I see This night will end
Very nice, guys. Thanks. Thank you. So, no mind here on live lunch break, streaming on the day.com. We're here at the Telegraph. So, for for anyone who has watched a lot of local music around town here, people probably recognize at least some, if not all, of you in this band. Um, what's the origin story here? How did you guys get together? Well, uh, Trevor over here played. A, he asked me to play a gig with him at the Buckley House down the street, and then said. You know, I'm looking for a band. Would you be interested in playing? And I, uh, either Trevor or I asked Christian, and then Christian asked Christine over here, and I asked Nick, and somehow this group of people kind of came together, and it went from being the Trevor Giles backing band to uh, No Mind. <laughs> and all of you guys write on your own and for this group. Um, how does the how does the songwriting work? So how much of it is something that Noah or or Trevor you guys bring your own songs? How much is it, are you guys sort of writing together? <laughs> That's where we're at right now, pretty much. Each of us has individually written the songs we play, and then we bring them to the group, and it really transforms, though, once we bring it to the group, because everybody adds stuff that the original writer would have never thought of, and it becomes this amazing, amazing thing. Everybody writes their own, their own everybody writes their own counterparts. Yeah. That's the right way of saying it, yeah. I think so, yeah. that, that works. That works. We know what you mean. <laughs> um, so when you guys were getting together, was it, Trevor, did you say, like, I want to start a band that is going to sound like this? I want to start uh, a, a jam slash funk slash uh, type yeah, of band? Yeah, or? yeah, I had a total, like, perfect picture in my head, a uh, narcissistic view of exactly the way it was going to sound. And then... <laughs> and it's not. And these guys were like, uh, why don't you try it this way? <laughs> and, you know, and as you can see, they're all wicked talented. There isn't one practice session where we all get together where I could come with anything. Anybody could come with anything. It could be wicked complex, and everybody will be like, oh, what if I did this? At that part. You know what I mean? So it's super conducive. Super conducive. There's not one practice where we don't argue some, yeah, okay. some form or another. <laughs> never a dull moment. Never. Never a dull moment. Um, so you guys are nominated for a Whaley Award in the Best Jam Band category. Um, how much of this is improvisational, and, and how much of it are you guys sort of playing as written? I, I know there were you guys all all the songs had some solo breaks in there. Um, that was all improv, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Um, His bassist. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I make it up pretty much every time. <laughs> <laughs> There is jam aspects to some of the songs. Like they definitely have structure, but we try to break out and really get to, you know, be our own musicians within one little song. And uh, basically, that means like during a set, either Nick or I will turn to somebody and goes, "Okay, everybody, shut up. And we're gonna play it funkier in this time, you know, <laughs> and, or we're gonna do it this way, completely differently." It's almost like like band leading is a different instrument to play. Mm -hmm. uh, Absolutely. We've been at gigs and I'll look over. Like, and you play, you know, play these hits with me, yeah. Yeah. Um, we played a show at 33 Golden Street, the uh, acoustic for a cause that Ethan Cash was running, and Nick basically turned the whole set on its head while we were on stage, but it was awesome. It was one of the best sets that we've played, yeah. where he just would turn around, he'd say, play hits here, or play softer here, or, or drop out, um, or we're going to do a solo here. It was great. He's, I think Nick really has an ear more than, more than any of the other four of us for those little arranging... Bits. Producer on the fly. Man. Yeah. So do you is, do you find then that the songs are sort of evolving over time as you as you perform them? Oh, Absolutely. Definitely. Um, that third song we did that I sang is called Sarah Beth's Song, and that whole like gospel breakdown at the end with the the bass and the harmony vocals, that just I think just happened one rehearsal, yeah. um, where Nick started playing it on the bass. We said let's repeat the chorus, and it turned into kind of the the big finish at the end of the song, but I never would have thought of it, and we did it without that for a while. Mm -hmm. And so, for for each of you, when you bring a so one of your own songs to the group, are there? Do you find surprises? Does it does it take a turn that you didn't expect? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, every, every time. Every time. Every time. Mm -hmm. um, you guys have been playing together for a little while. Any any thoughts of recording? Actually, currently, we, we are recording at uh, Dirt Force Studios with uh, Eric Lichter. 
Um, we have a uh, little demo out right now. Um, and yep. we're, we're in the process of uh, you know fixing it up, making them more of like an EP so they can start releasing to people and, and getting our music really and pushing it really out there because it's you know we've got some really awesome stuff on there and uh, we really want to share with everybody out there because we think that they'll enjoy it too. Um, there is talk of adding like four songs to it though. Talk of it. Yeah, there's, there's, talk always, there's always talk about everything though. That's, that's the thing, you know? You guys promised you weren't going to bicker on camera. We were going to save that for the practice face. <laughs> um, do you guys find that you're starting to write songs more specifically for this group now? Or we have some ideas. <laughs> Sometimes we get inspired by a special audience member dancing or something. And yeah. We'll have some thoughts about writing a song just for that person. Yeah. So. But now that we've been playing, uh, you know, long enough together, any of these guys can envision what the full band will sound like, right. as opposed to just four taking yeah. a song you've been playing acoustic for years yeah. and like being blown away. Yeah. So that helps. We can really unleash what we've got. All right. Where can we see you guys next? Oh, where um, where is our next gig? It's uh, d d well, June, June seventh. I know June seventeenth. Uh, we we were supposed to play this Saturday, but stuff happened. Uh, then June <laughs> June seventeenth, we kept a, uh, in in West Hartford at Blue Rack, and then July we have like ten gigs or something like that. We are They're playing at Sailfest. Yeah, we're playing yeah. at Sailfest, and that will be it. And that'll be with uh, Cody Urban on guitar. I'll unfortunately be away that weekend. Mm -hmm. Um. But if you find us on Facebook, uh, No Mind, I think it's facebook.com slash no mind CT. Um, we have all of our gigs up there. We announce the schedule periodically. Um, we'll be playing at Sneakers Cafe again in July, as well as Sail Fest, yeah. Blueback Square. I think we're playing at Octane right yeah. down the street. Octane. June 25th is Octane. Thank you. We saw that. All right, well, well, we'll keep an eye on what you guys are doing. Facebook is the best way to, to follow you. Absolutely. And you guys have a couple more songs for us? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. No Mind. So now we're going to do another little switcheroo, and uh, Christine's going to play guitar, and Trevor's going to play piano. We get bored a lot, so we kind of switch. Just to do things. <laughs> Everybody in this band plays at least two instruments.
a joke. Yeah. We have a joke. <laughs> Nick's right. We are the joke. Yeah. Uh, this is a newer one we've been working on. Uh, it's called Rewind. The 
There's no way to make this last Upon the minds of the dying kind There's no upgrade to cure this life not this tall. But that's okay.
Can't you see that it was so much better When it was really you and me Can't you see it would be so much better Can't you see Thank you. We have one more song for
been alone Dream of things that in fun Can you be home to the foggy to sun Cause when I tell me into I am crazy I am a funky So you can find No Mind on Facebook. You can find Live Lunch Break on Facebook and at theday.com slash live lunch where we archive all of our shows. Um, thanks a lot to Rich and The Telegraph for hosting us. We'll be here next week with Olive Tiger. And um, have a nice day, everybody. Thanks a lot for coming down. <laughs>